Nice in run position. She's super balanced, super straight. For Jessica Jerome, the feeling of a perfect jump is like nothing else. It's effortless and it's clean and you just float. Jessica's incredible Olympic journey started with this jump at the age of seven. Number 48, Jessica Jerome. First day on jump, it's good key. jump, Jess. She came home one day and announced that she wanted to ski jump, and I had no idea what she was talking about. Within a few years, Jessica and a few of her friends from Park City, Utah, were competing, hitting jumps at 60 plus miles per hour, right alongside the boys. We jump with our hair tucked back. Uh, and and you, you couldn't tell the difference. It was decided that women would only be able to compete against each other. Which was great for us because we had our own, we, we wanted our own competitions. But then they would say, well, you, you just don't have the depth that the guys have. The women could compete, but no Olympics and no official support. The guys were sponsored by the U.S. ski team. They had a substantial budget compared to what the girls, the girls had nothing. But they kept jumping, and the former mayor of Salt Lake City, who had first-hand experience with the Olympics, got involved. This is discrimination, it, plain and simple. But for decades, the International Olympic Committee disagreed. A sport must be widely practiced around the world. This is not the case for women's ski jumping. Jessica and teammate Lindsey Van and 13 girls from five different countries decided to take on the IOC in court. They filed suit demanding that women jumpers be included in the Vancouver Olympics. It turned out to be another heartbreaking defeat. There was a lot of times when I wasn't sure I wanted to jump anymore. Jessica says watching the Vancouver Olympics felt like seeing a party that she wasn't invited to, and she was getting tired of fighting. If I didn't like having to be an advocate for the sport, I would have rather been an athlete. Alan Alborn, a three-time Olympic ski jumper, was one of the skeptics. I would uh, be the first to say I was very uh, narrow-minded when the women first started fighting. But now he's a believer and he'll coach the first ever U.S. women's Olympic ski jumping team at Sochi. They are going to be one of the biggest stories in Sochi. They already are. Such a Cinderella story because of the pureness of it. To see these athletes finally achieve their dreams is just fabulous. It took so long, a lot of energy, um, a lot of sacrifice. It's a great moment for them. Opening ceremonies, what's that going to be like for you? I have no idea. I hear from other people that it's awesome, and I'm expecting it to be probably the moment where everything kind of sinks in. Jessica's Olympic dream started as that seven-year-old who loved to jump, and while she says she's proud of the fight it took to realize that dream, she's glad it's over. And now I can focus on training and uh, trying to have the best jumps of my life. Ted Rollins, CNN, Park City, Utah.